just get started so here I'm creating a new canvas I actually tried to create a custom canvas but then I forgot the measurements so I ended up choosing the one from their presets so once you have done that just insert the photo that you want to turn into a cartoon and make sure that you decrease the size of the canvas whenever you're inserting a picture so that you can see how much of a picture you want in the canvas like this once you have done that just create a new layer and name it outlines and after that i'm choosing a brush from calligraphy brush set which is brush pen and i usually use this brush for my outlines and just select any dark color maybe a dark brown or a black and select the uh, size of the brush you want make sure to increase the streamline as well for neat and clean outlines and it makes really easy to outline your drawing so yeah that is why i always like increase the streamline up to um 70 percent so yeah here i'm just outlining her just regularly you'll just see what i'm doing here So I went ahead and fixed my outlines a bit. Now I'm just creating a new layer and I'm gonna name it Shades. And I'm just gonna paint her skin. So for that I'm choosing Airbrush from the Airbrush uh, brush uh, set. And I'm just painting over her skin like this. Now you can choose your own skin color. Just uh, take the color picker and choose your own skin color and start filling it up like this now I am contouring her face like this just take a darker skin color and start putting it wherever the dark shadows must be so uh, for example I have uh, use the dark shades under her cheekbones and on her forehead as well so it's like it just depends on the picture and you can actually uh, take your picture as reference for the coloring so that you can see from where the light is coming from and where you can create the shadows as well so i hope you're getting my point here and I am actually just erasing out any mistakes so that I can lock my layer and do my thing safely. So I'm just erasing off any mistakes that are any color that is coming out of my outlines like this. Once I am done with the cleaning part, I'm just gonna uh, check mark the alpha lock going onto the shades layer and now I'm just gonna start contouring and highlighting her face. Now again, it just depends on to your reference picture. Obviously, you are gonna use your own picture to see where the shadows are and where the light is coming from. So. I am just putting the dark shades wherever I want the shadows, the dark shadows and then I'm just blending that out using the blend tool. Now if you haven't watched my video on how to master the blend tool then you're missing out because I actually 
uh, tell you in detail in that video like how that tool works and how to use it properly to make your drawings look more um, I don't know what word I'm looking for here but yeah that video is really good and you should watch that video I'll be putting a link down below so do not forget to check that out as well and just uh, I'm just gonna speed up this process a bit because it's just me putting some shadows and blending them out Now I'm creating a new layer for her lips and I'm just pick any color you want so I'm just painting her lips with the base color like this and now I'm just gonna again uh, check the alpha lock so that I don't mess up my drawing and now I'm just gonna start shading her lips So now I am highlighting her lips and for that what I do is I just put the solid white color like just like that and I just start blending it with the blending tool and once once I'm like really happy with the blended color the blended white color I start putting up the solid white color bringing the opacity to the max and I put that color in between and that way it looks amazing So now I am adding eyeshadow to her eyes just to make it look more aesthetic. Now you can actually play around with your own cartoon character to make it look the way you want it to look. And again, I'm just putting the random colors on her eyelid and blending it all out with the blending tool. So basically what I do is I First, just paint the base color, which is her skin color, and then I just start putting the shadows, the shades, the highlights, and then I just blend it with the blending tool. And it is not that difficult, to be honest. Once you master the blend tool and you know how it works, it is really easy to create an amazing artwork. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing the same thing for her eyes as well. And gonna be doing the same thing for her hair as well 
so I'm just gonna be speeding up the process and I'm also gonna um, shade the inner part of her eye I don't know what to call it like the white part of her eye because the white part isn't actually white it has some sort of shade so never leave that area white that just doesn't look good and doesn't look natural at all and I'm also gonna be um, filling in her eyeliner and um, her pupils and her iris as well so one tip I'm gonna be giving you guys is whenever you're doing the liner if you um, do a lot more portrait study kind of stuff then just keep it in the outlines part outlines layer that way you just don't mess things up that's just my small little tip and actually it really doesn't matter you can create a whole another new layer for that one I used to do that I used to create a new layer for eyes eyebrows eyelashes when I started off doing digital art so I used to do that but now I'm actually not doing that because I don't know that's just up to you basically like how you prefer and how you um, go through the whole process so I'm just gonna speed up the process a little bit and pretty much everything here is self-explanatory and you'll see what I'm doing and just have fun with your drawing with your cartoon character and just watch me as I do with mine So now that I want to paint her glasses, I'm actually painting the missing parts of the skin, the parts which must be seen from the glasses. But actually I forgot when I was painting the skin that I want the glasses to look the see-through ones. I wanted the glasses to be the see-through ones, I should say. So here I'm just going back and painting the skin again, like this. So now for the glasses, what I did was I selected a multiply layer. What it does is it allows you to see the shades underneath or the shape underneath and that gives them glasses a look of see-through kind of look, I should say. So yeah. And now I'm just adding some highlights onto the glasses just to make them pop a little bit.
so now for her hair as well I'm just choosing a color from the picture and I'm using the same color as the picture had for her hair and just filling that color in and using it as the base color So now I'm shading uh, her hair and choosing a darker shade of her hair and putting it randomly where I want uh, the dark shades and blending it out with the blending tool. So now I'm just adding highlights to her face and if you guys want me to do a video on how I highlight portraits then I can totally do that. Do not forget to comment down in the comment section and I'll make that video for you guys. guys so now that I'm done with my character I'm actually playing around with it and I'm also gonna paint the background so I'm just gonna speed up the process because that just depends on you how you want your background to look so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and show some love and I'll see you guys the next time.